Ready, Joe? You don't have to do this, Fontaine. I mean, I'm sorry I made a pass. I know Emily's your girl. I'm real glad you noticed. You think you're real tough, don't you? Bobby, please, for the last time, please don't do this. My honor's at stake. I love you. Joe knows that this isn't going to prove anything. Hey, Emily, don't worry. I got to come.
Hey, what's going on here, Jack? Where am I? What's your name, son? Bobby. Bobby Fontana. One of Rafferty's boys. Please step aside. Hey, what's the jacket, Bob? You can kiss that cough goodbye in Uptown, Mrs. Hardison. Oh, I'll be so happy. I've suffered such a long, long time. Makes your heart feel good, doesn't it? Hey, this Uptown sounds OK. Maybe I ought to check this out. Midtown traffic's getting impossible. You gotta get the big chief to put a cycle lane in here. Lane? You need a highway, fella. Who taught you how to ride this thing? You almost killed me. You must be Bobby. I'm Rafferty. Hop on. We got some serious talking to do. Dead? What do you mean, dead? Mister, you shouldn't be riding a bike. You could really hurt somebody. I haven't lost anybody yet. Come on. Now, I suppose everyone else in here is dead, too. As doornails. We're all spirits. Well, spirits gotta eat, too. Look, kid. Hey, what's the last thing you remember? Race. Yeah, I was in a race. There was no contest. The guy checking out halfway. But I kept going, you know, for the crowd. He was about to bail out. When... Here, try to link me. Pretty good. What's wrong? You don't like Italian? Emily. Oh, yeah, she was a cute one, all right. Tough break, kid. I gotta see her. Sorry, that's impossible. You don't understand. I need to see her. There's something I gotta tell her. Son, you already told her all you ever will. So this is it. But to tell you the truth, I was expecting something different. You know, like angels and harps and that kind of stuff. Oh, no, that's in Uptown. Well, you don't mean I... No, 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 this is Midtown. Sort of a way station, just temporary. Oh. So I'll be moving on. It's not that easy, Bob. The big chief doesn't think you're quite ready yet, which is why he sent me down here. What's the matter? He doesn't like my clothes? Let's just say you have a few strikes against you, and until you square yourself to his satisfaction, you're sort of stuck here. So what does he want me to do? Carry out an assignment, something especially suited to your uh, abilities. OK, I'm game. When do we start? I was coming to that. You're going to have to ride the train until we find an assignment for you. What? It's the only way we can keep Midtown from getting overcrowded. Where does it go? Around. Well, how long I gotta stay on this thing? Could be a while.
Lenny. What are you doing? How many times do I have to tell you? First the lettuce, and then the tomato, and then the onion, huh? What do I gotta do, write it down for you? Oh, no. I'm sorry. No, no, no sorry. I just get it right. I need six cheeseburgers and seven Cokes, pronto. Two with no tomato, one without onion, two with no mustard, and one with no mayo. And the no onion wants no ketchup. I want a large fry with extra salt. Got it? I hope so. Do you want some help? Melissa, I need you out front. All right, let me just get this takeout order. Thanks for the offer. Oh, never mind. Get out of here, please. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go out there and help her. I'll handle this. And try not to screw it up. I'm not doing so good, am I? You're doing fine. I don't think Max likes me too much. Max doesn't like anybody. Much more than physical. Not just emotional. Baby, I want you so bad. It's an obsession. It's an obsession. I don't know why you waste your time. She doesn't know you exist. Yeah, but someday she will. Oh, Barnes, who got a wuss like you in here? I work here. <laughs> Christ, what a joke. Max must be desperate, huh? <laughs> Yo, Barnes, man, I didn't give you permission to look at Sharon. All right, man, you gonna take our order? You're just gonna stand there looking stupid. <laughs> what would you like? This was gonna be a smooth trip. It's those damn floral cobblers have been kicking hell out of the ozone. These people, they don't give a damn about their environment. <laughs> yeah, I'm glowing, right? Whoa. And he's near, dude. Jeffrey! Yeah, but I like been totally Jeffrey. motivated by There have been some changes since your day. No shit. Let me tell you something, man. This shit is so fine, it's gonna turn your head inside out, upside down, and every which way. It's gonna totally destroy your mind. Whoa, with Mars? No, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Whatever happened to Elvis? He's uptown. I'm not so sure about these changes. Well, some I can live with. Ain't nobody can see us, right? Not unless you want them to. However, the rule is you reveal yourself only to your assignment and no one else. Hey, will you give me a break? I've been on a subway for a long, long time. Try a cold shower. Still works. Hey! Watch it, jerk! Kids is my son. The Spazola. Well, I don't ever, ever want to see your face around here again. You understand that? Not unless you're a paying customer. You know, Max really doesn't mean that, Lenny. Now go on, beat it, schmuck. Maybe he does. Let's see, Melissa. <laughs> Alas, that love whose view is muffled still should without eyes see pathways to his. Where shall we dine? 
There's much to do with hate, but more with love. You gotta watch that first step, kid. It's a nasty one. Sorry about that. It's okay. I, I guess I owe you my life. Forget it. You're on the line, dude. But if you hadn't been here, I would... Yep. Would've... You'd be a pile of hamburger. How did you do that? Well, I'll be seeing you. Where are you going? Got a train to catch. You from out of town? Yeah, you can say that. Look, I want to thank you. Sure thing. Wait, I, I don't even know your name. Going somewhere? Yeah, town. No, you're not. Well, I did my job, right? Wrong. What? What do you mean, wrong? I saved his life, didn't I? What else am I supposed to do? Become his friend. You gotta be kidding. He needs somebody to talk to. Well, buy him a German Shepherd. He thinks that he's worthless. Well, he might be onto something. It's your job to show him He's not. How am I supposed to do that? That is up to you. I've been stuck on a subway all these years for this. Why couldn't you send me down here to rescue some orphans or something? Rafferty, it ain't gonna work. I, mean, I got nothing in common with this kid. I mean, he's a complete square. He even puked on me. He is your assignment. What if I don't take it? You want to go uptown, don't you? You're on your own, kid. But soft. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east. And Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. That thou art far more fair than she. What does Shakespeare mean by these words that all but sing with lyric beauty? Mr. Gallo. It's the hell out of me. <laughs> it means that... that as beautiful as the moon is, it pales beside the beauty of his lady love. Exactly. Smart kid. <laughs> but still a spaz. Knock it off. Crafty. Where are you? 97 FM. I'm keeping my eye on you. Understand? Hey, you cut me some slack. No fooling around. Understand? Stick to your assignment. That's what I've been doing, Rafferty. You can count on me. <laughs> Rafferty. Rafferty? Lenny. Lenny, 
guess what Mr. Finley told me after class. Oh, hi, Melissa. He said that you analyze literature better than anyone he's ever had, ever. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, I, I guess. He's saying you're really special. Yeah, right. I'm so special, how come everyone thinks I'm a jerk? Nobody thinks that. Oh, come on, Melissa. Nobody cares about that stuff. I do. Yeah, but you're different. Look, look, I have to go. Let's get together later. Maybe we can study or something? Uh, yeah, okay. Hi, Sharon. What do you want, douchebag? Nothing. What are you doing here? I came to apologize to Sharon about last night. Okay, she heard you. Now move it. You hard of hearing, Pickerhead? Huh? Is it split? not thinking of taking another dog because I ain't gonna be down there to catch you this time where'd you come from let's just say I dropped in sorry I was in such a hurry this morning my name's Bobby Lenny nice view you got here Lynn yeah it's okay must be good for thinking yeah Look, Lynn, let's cut the shit. You need a lot of help, and that's why I'm here. I've been watching you. I know how you feel about that chick, Sharon. You do? Yeah. And I could fix it so she'd go out with you. I might even fix it so she'd fall for you. You could do that? Yep. I can do a lot of stuff. Wait a minute. Who, who are you? This morning when I caught you, how do you think I did that? I don't know. Well, I can do that because I am not of this earth. Not of this earth? Yeah. You know, dead. Uh, I have to be going now. Wait, I'm not finished. I've got, I've got this play to read. My brothers, I have to make them dinner. Look, kid, this is no bullshit. It was nice seeing you again. I'll prove it. This jacket is real special to me, kid. Now, don't take your eye off of it, because I'm going to make it fly like an eagle. Great, great trick. Now I remember. Rafi said you have to do something with your hands. See that tree? I'm going to make it disappear. Raffrey said there was a knack to it. Well, maybe you should try something a little, a little different, something easier, you know, like, you know, make it rain or turn yourself into a duck. <laughs> Don't piss me off, kid. What are you doing? Well, I've been too ambitious. That's my term paper. What are you doing? Trust me. Check it out. Got any tape? That's it. I'm going. Wait. I just had an idea. I should have thought of this before. The next car that comes down this road is going to go right through me. Hey, you don't have to do this. I believe you.
I said I believe you. wrong. I mean, Rafferty told me I had all these powers. Maybe you just need more practice. Hey, let me get Rafferty down here. He'll explain everything. No, that, that's okay. I, I mean, I'd love to meet the guy and all, but like I said, I've got a lot of work to do. Tell you what, when he gets in town, give me a call. I'm in the phone book, and, and we'll all go up for pizza or something, all right? Look, kid, now you're really starting to piss me off. You think I want to be doing this? No way. But I want to get to uptown, see? And the only way I can do that is by following the rules. So that's why I'm here. Personally, I think I'm wasting my time with you. Personally, I think the whole thing's hopeless. What the... But why me? Like I said, I was assigned to you. But I'm not in any real trouble. From what I've seen, I'd say you're in serious trouble. How come I didn't see you in school today? I didn't want you to. Oh, so you can appear and disappear just like that? Yeah, I'm only allowed to do that with you. Japanese. The way I see it, you got one major problem. No confidence. You got no confidence because you got no style. But we're gonna change all that. How? Same way we're gonna get that cute little blonde to notice you. I'm gonna give you a new image. I'm gonna give you a flash. I like this. Why not? It's not me. You want to be you? Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it, honestly. I, I really like it. Cool, huh, kid? Yeah, I'll be the only kid in school with a bulletproof head. What's wrong with my bike? You can't pick up chicks on a bicycle, kid. How are you gonna make out at a drive? -in? Well, I've never been to a drive. -in. Ain't she a beauty?
Will she run? <laughs> when you passed away, it couldn't have been in a car accident, could it? Yeah. How'd you guess? Just a hunch. Must be Japanese. <sighs> School is in session. Lesson number one. You're on the joint. When you walk into a room, you want all eyes on you. You want everybody in that room thinking, hey, who is that cat? Second, you always look like you got everything covered. Chicks like to think you got all the answers. When exactly was it that you passed away? Why? Well, that's just sort of old-fashioned thinking nowadays. Hey, now work for me, it's gonna work for you. I guarantee it. Now watch. Hey, good looking. You're too fine to be sitting here all alone. See? It's all in the moves. So what do you say? I got a cover? Good looking. You're too fine to be sitting here all alone. She's not, asshole. <laughs> You're doing great, kid. Let me know when I'm doing bad. Uh, you gotta expect a little disappointment. It goes with the territory. So do my appendix. Hey, look. This is it, kid. I know you can handle this. Hi there. Hey, good looking. My name's Glenn. Man, I have never seen a chick that ferocious in all my life. I don't think this is gonna work. What kind of talk is that? It's called intelligence. Come on, kid. You gotta give it a chance. I've been taking you to the wrong spots, kid. Now, this is the kind of place where I used to hang out. Chicks in here know how to treat a man right. Uh, you go ahead. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, but don't wait too long.
You're on my turf now. A lot of changes. Something the matter? Wrong turf. <laughs> Maybe we ought to call it a night. Hey, this is some bitchin' car. We could sure use a ride to the boulevard. hanging on me. I mean, she was all over me. Was I looking good or what? You did just fine, kid. In fact, there were moments tonight when you almost reminded me of myself. Really? Yeah. You definitely got potential. All right. Of course, you got a ways to go. I mean, Rome wasn't built in a day. Make no mistake, you definitely were in worse shape than Rome. <laughs> <laughs> this cigarette tastes fun. Where did you get that? Oh, I'm some kid at Max's. I think you're doing it wrong. Damn, what are you trying to do? Kill yourself? That's the way you're supposed to do it. What is this stuff? It's called grass. I'm smoking somebody's lawn? No, <laughs> come on, just think ahead. <coughs> I think I'll stick to camels. <laughs> what is this stuff supposed to do anyway? Must be strong stuff. <laughs> what happened? It's called getting high. <laughs> Lang? Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, just laughing at a book. <laughs> Have you seen my glasses? Yeah, they're on the nightstand. Mm. Oh, no. I'm gonna be sick.
You know you're jamming up all the frequencies there. What's up? I just saw Emily. Why didn't you tell me? We figured it'd be better you found out for yourself. Yeah, I found out. She's married to Joe Barnes, that meathead's a kid's father. Look, I don't know whose idea of a joke this is, but I want out. What about Lenny? Find somebody else to be his friend. That's the way you feel? That's the way I feel! some kind of test, isn't it? You could say that. I should have known. You guys are famous for stuff like this. We knew it would be difficult for you. Difficult? I thought I was over her. Let me talk to the big chief. I'll see if I can get you another assignment. You do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Let me get this right. He gave you the car and the clothes just like that? For free? Yes. Huh. What is this guy? Some kind of good Samaritan? One question. Are you dealing drugs? Oh, Joe, don't be ridiculous. Well, you explain it then, because I sure don't know what's going on. Let me handle it, dear. Be my guest. This friend of yours. Bobby. Bobby. Do you know him from school? Not exactly. Does he have a last name? I, I can't remember it. Do you know where his family lives? I don't know. Are you in some kind of trouble? No, Mom. You can tell me. Thought we didn't keep things from each other. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Don't worry about it, Mom, really. I got it covered. What? I got it covered. Something wrong, Mom? No. Um. Good night. Bobby. All right. Oh, some hot wheels there, big brother. Where'd you get them? From a friend. What'll it do? Whatever I make it do. A hundred? Jerk like you get a machine like that. 
Yeah, that's too much car for wuss like you, Lenny. A beer's liver lips. You watch it, you squirrely little shit. Make me dust, Lenny. Nice, man. Tell me, is this a uh, six-cylinder or V8? Both. Huh? So, Barnes, where'd you steal this thing? Built it myself. Yeah, bullshit. It's easy, Gallo. I just use something you haven't got. Brains. <laughs> Like it? I guess. Where'd you get the clothes? What'd you do to your hair? Well, I felt it was time for a change. Hey, lady. Where were you All yesterday? Right. What do you mean? We were supposed to study together, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had stuff to do. You know, I waited over an hour for you. Like I said, I was busy. Hey, Lenny. Yeah. Lenny, what's come over you? Wait, I want to talk to you. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Sharon. Walk me to class? We're already here. That's all right. Where's Sharon? She went to class. Yeah, to school. Never fails. Every one of you sooner or later wanders back to the scene of his demise. Nostalgia, I suppose. Yeah. Well, you're in luck, kid. I think I got you another assignment. Changed my mind. How to pull a few strings. What? I'm gonna stick this one out. Oh, I thought... I've been doing some thinking. I got a lot of time invested in this kid. I figure I might as well stick it out. Anyway, the kid's not all that bad. I'm even starting to like him a little. Uh-huh. What about Emily? I can handle that. All right, that's the spirit, kid. I'm going to tell you, this is going to save us both a whole lot of grief. Well, wish me luck. I'm on my way to a place called Newark. And if you think our subways are bad... Lenny, the rumors all over school that you're going to fight Fred Gallo. Is it true? What are you going to do? Probably die. I got business for you, Barnes. Oh? You need some help tutoring? I'm gonna kick your ass. I don't like the way that sounds. Yeah? You're not gonna like the way that feels, either. Whoa. 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 Thanks, Will. <laughs> You're dead meat, Barnes. Uh, 
I can't. Thought you could use a little help. Lenny? Sure can use a ride home. Got your comb? Spare change. Let me see your socks. You still haven't told me where you were this afternoon. I had some angel business to take care of. Well, you missed it. I kicked Gallo's ass all over the schoolyard. If you got lucky. If I hadn't hey, showed up I could have handled McIntyre, too. Yeah, back to business. What are you going to tell her first? Hey, you don't have to coach me. I know what I'm doing. Hey, I'm still the teacher here. Make it slow and easy. A girl like this, you just can't rush. Mm-hmm. Right. She needs special handling. You know what I mean? Take her somewhere real nice. Peel her vanity. I mean, you know, tell her, tell her how how good her hair looks. Tell her uh, how pretty her dress is. Mm -hmm. Tell her how nice her perfume smells. Or oh, remember, romance. Holy shit. Boy, you look great. I mean, your hair. It's so great. And your dress? It's not a dress, but it's great, too. Lenny, my parents want me home by 10. So let's skip the burgers and just get it on, OK? A lot of changes. You did okay for a first time. Or... What do you mean? Don't be embarrassed. I made it with a lot of first timers. Yeah. Pick me up for school tomorrow. <laughs> sure. Listen, kid, I'm glad you scored. But I'm not sure this is the right chick for you. An awful cold around the heart. Oh, come on, don't bring me down. Hey, you're right. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Man, you look terrible. After that second beer. Hey, I'm in control. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely in control. Drunk is not cool. You understand? <laughs> when you sober up, I want some answers. <laughs> Come on, you have a heart. The kid just got laid. <laughs> What's happening? Our son is drunk. Drunk? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? He barely made it up the stairs.
blast. Are you going, Lenny? Yeah, I'll be there. You dance with me? If you deserve it. Look at that son of a bitch. He's hanging all over Sharon. I should go over there and break his face. Get the gallo. Hey, watch it, all right? Get watch. It's like no one respects us anymore, you know what I mean? Yeah. They would if I kicked his ass right now. Hey, hey, fighting ain't gonna do it, man. You need to do something really big. Something special. Those guys are not done with you yet, so watch yourself. Hey, don't worry about it. I got it covered. How did you ever do it, Joe? What did Emily see in you? Uh, what's the catch? You are the new novelty. What was it, Joe? Your good looks, your fine physique, <clears throat> your charming ways. Why did you marry him, Emily? You could have done so much better. God, you're beautiful. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Sorry, Mom, but I'm going. You are going right back up into the house. No way. There's people expecting to see me tonight. Well, they're going to have to wait, because you're going upstairs until I get some answers. Who's going to make me? Lenny! It's no way to talk to you, Mom. What is this? Everyone's on my case. What is with this attitude? Are you coming or not? You're getting to be a real jerk. And you're getting to be a real drag. Lenny? Just back off, all right? Come back here. mind seeing my good friend Max again?
touch it. What's with you? What do you care? Jesus. What a toad. Hey, she's all right. She's a loser, Lenny. Everybody knows that. I'll be right back. Emily? Emily? It's me. It's really me. I had to see you. But, but how? It's a long story. I waited so long to hold you. For Joe, I might not have made it. He helped me through some pretty rough times. Yeah, I'll bet he did. He's a good husband, Bobby. Really, he is. He loves me and the kids. He tries real hard. Do you love him? Yes, I do. Same way you love me. I don't know how much time I have left, Emily. I'd like this night to be special. Pick you up. You used to wait under that tree. I had to park all the way down the block so the old man wouldn't hear me drive up. <laughs> I'd always come running out to meet you, and you'd always laugh at me and hug me. 
God, you made me feel good. Somehow just being with you always seemed to make everything all right. Where are we? Our high school gym. Oh. Remember those dances? I thought I was too cool to take you to. You are. We spent our last night together here, remember? Yeah, I remember. Bobby, what do you think of Lenny? He's okay. No. He's better than okay. As a matter of fact, we were getting to be pretty good friends until he got so damn cocky. Does that surprise you? Yeah. I mean, he even washed off to me. I mean, to me. <laughs> you know, over the years, he's reminded me a lot of you. But now, more than ever. Emily, what? Lenny is your son. You know, I wished for so long that you could see him. And now you have. Lenny? My son? <laughs> I never told him about you, Bobby. What about Joe? He knew. But he still wanted to marry me. I guess I was wrong about Joe. I guess I was wrong about a lot of things. Emily, there's something I never told you. Something I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. I love you. I always have. to go now, Emily. Don't worry about Lenny. I'll take care of everything. Will I see you again, Bobby? I'll always be with you. He's a good kid. Thanks, Joe. Come on, come on, let's go. Hey, everybody! I got a son! Aren't you gonna congratulate me? I got a kid! Of course, you probably knew that all along.
Come on, Rafferty, all I did was step over the bounds a little. Don't you understand, kid? You may appear to no one, but your assignment, you broke the rules. They don't like that around here. Well, whatever happens, it was worth it. And to see Emily again, to touch her face, to find out about Lenny, hey, that'll get me through an eternity. Oh, oh I need another drink. Need a lift? No. Melissa, wait. Wait. What do you want? Well, I thought maybe we could talk. Why don't you talk to Sharon? Well, she's not much for talking. Can I walk you home? Suit yourself. Well, what's the matter? You don't like me anymore? You used to be somebody I cared about. Now you're acting like someone I never knew. Someone I don't really want to know. Melissa! You know what a gut race is, Barnes? Separates guys like me from chicken shits like you. And we got the cars and everything set up at the quarry. All you have to do is show up. Now, just between you and me, I don't think you will. But then again, I happen to think there's nothing but a candy ass underneath all those fancy clothes of yours. Come on, let's go. Yeah, that's right, Barnes. Go home. That's where you belong. <laughs> OK. Let's do it. Hey, Come on, Gallup. You're on. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Then you just let it go. Hey, hop in. Come on. Yeah, you can be my I was going to tell you. What does it mean? Gallo challenged him to a race. He accepted. If it's any consolation, he's on the uptown passenger list. Oh, no. Rafferty, you got to let me go back. There's nothing you can do. You don't understand. My son needs me, Rafferty. Bobby, I know how you feel, but it was meant to be. You can't alter destiny. Destiny nothing. If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't be in this jail. I got him into this fix. You gotta let me get him out of it. The kid hasn't had a life yet, Rafferty. I didn't know what that meant. But last night, I found out what I lost. I don't want that to happen to Lenny. I, I want him to have a chance to, to grow old, to have a family, a wife, kids. Whatever he wants. All the things I missed out on. Bobby, the consequences. I don't care about the consequences. I'll do anything. Talk to the higher-ups. Talk to whoever you have to. Tell them I'll do anything. Anything. Rafferty. Tell them I'd give up my soul. Get back at any time, Barnes. Lenny, don't do this. Please. I've been challenged. My honor's at stake. Your honor's gonna get you killed. Don't worry about it. I've got it covered. Charlie! 
Look, Fred. Start him. I got to let you down now, did you? Oh, shit! Mommy! was also the last. Save my life again. I'm your guardian angel. That's my job. I see you're with another girl. Yeah, she's really special. I'd like you to meet her. Maybe some other time. Why not now? See that guy down there? I gotta take a ride with him. You gotta be on your own again. We're just getting to be friends. You're my best friend. Yeah. No matter where I go, We'll always be best friends. You really gotta go? Goodbye, kid. care of yourself. Me too. Kid, ain't your effort. 
Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be all right. It's hard to say, Rafferty. But I'm gonna miss you. Tell me. It's as bad as I think it is down there. Worse. Thanks. Well, we're so glum, Bobby. You're not going down there. You're on your way uptown. Just earned your ticket. Well, could you run that by me again? When you sacrificed yourself for Lenny, you showed us you learned how to love, how to value someone more than yourself. That's how you get a ticket uptown. What, me? Or uptown? Yep. Bobby, damn! Couldn't you put that another way? Hang on, kid! What are you waving at? Something very special.